guys welcome to my channel so today it's going to be just a quick workout just to burn a bit the glutes the arm strings and the core so let's get going this is for when you know you don't have much time i have three kids at home three boys so that's why i sometimes don't have all the time that i wish i had to film these okay so i have on a blue spring on the stop reformer so that would be a half tension spring and i have my bar actually at the first position so really lowered and my box is on it so it's not the most stable but it should stay that way and i'm actually going to lay my um, upper back and now pay close attention half of my head is on the box so right before the head goes into like a like a slant or a curve i have that on my box okay so i'm moving my hair out of the way i'm making sure that i'm comfortable and um my shoulders are relaxed now i'm gonna tell you three ways that you can do this because it is quite advanced um, and the first way would be just with the feet on the reformer flat so my hands are going to be i like to place them in this position behind my head but some prefer to just have the um, arms holding the box you can also hold it like this i like to have them behind my head and it's a little bit complicated to get into this position, but it's really worth it. Then I lift my hips. So my feet could be flat on the reformer. That's the first way of doing it. Um, then the second way would be on to the shoulder rest. And finally, the third way would be on my toes on the shoulder rest. Now, you want to try to keep the reformer home, by home I mean closed, as much as possible. And for this first exercise, I'm just going to lower my hips and exhale, press. Lower my hips and press. And I'm trying to keep my upper body really relaxed. I'm just holding to the edge of that box at the back of my head and I'm using this the length and the height to be able to bring my hips up and really work arm strings glutes and the calves and i'm trying not to move let's go for five and four the last three Woo. two and one, now stay up and tiny little pulses with the hips. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And bring it down and you can shake the knees from side to side. Just removing, releasing a bit of that tension. And now, second exercise. I'm just going to lift my uh, hips. I'm on my heels so that I engage my calves a little more. And this time I'm gonna press the carriage out, squeeze it in, press it out, and squeeze it in. Keep the belly tight, keep the shoulders relaxed. Inhaling, exhaling, squeezing the back of the legs and I'm only going to go for five, four and three, two and one coming back and slowly releasing down and shake the knees from side to side and now we're going to do all of this except we're going to do it with one leg at a time which is going to focus a lot more on the glutes and for this obviously if this was challenging enough you can just redo the whole thing with two legs or you could choose to place your feet down 
For this one, I won't lift my heels. I'm just going to have my feet on the shoulder rest for more stability. So since this is hard enough, so I make sure I have my hips up high and I'm going to engage my left glute so much that I'm pressing my foot on the left shoulder rest and lifting my right leg. From here, I'm gonna go down and up without moving the carriage. Two, three, four, the carriage might move slightly, six, seven, and ooh, eight. Put the foot back down, try to stabilize the hips. Now put all your strength in the right foot, lifting the left leg, going down for one, and two, and three, really squeezing that glute, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Put the other foot down and roll it down, relaxing a little bit and moving the legs from side to side. And I'm actually going to just refix my box a little bit and my hair. So if you need to grab a bit of water, go ahead. Otherwise, let's meet back on the reformer. So now I've fixed my hair, I've fixed my box. So I'm going back and I'm actually going to do the second exercise we did with legs together. So I have my feet on the headrest. I'm rolling my hips up. I'm making sure my upper body is comfortable. And I'm going to push everything I have into that left glute. Left foot is going to press down the shoulder rest. Right foot is lifting. This time I'm pressing away, extending my left foot and squeezing it. Really squeeze that muscle. And two. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze it as much as you can. Three. And four. Really challenging. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. And switching legs right away. Press it down. Lift the left leg. Press away. One. Squeeze it in. Exhale. And two. Trying to keep the hips on the same line. Three. Four, five, really squeeze it, six, seven, and eight, dropping the other foot and rolling down. And again, you can move the legs from side to side. And this one, this, um, for now, just giving our legs a little break. We're going to lower the bar completely this time. Place the box back over the springs right next to my wooden platform. And I still have just the blue one. And I'm going to do this on my forearm, but you can do it on your hands if you want. And I'm just going to press the reformer, walk my feet um, a little bit behind the shoulder rest. And now bend it and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Really keeping my core engaged, using my core for this exercise and making sure my shoulders are above my elbows. I'm going for five, four, three, I'm going to actually put my feet on the shoulder rest and I'm going to start with my right foot. I'm going to engage my left leg so much and my core so that I can lift my right foot, tap it in the middle, tap it on the outside, tap it in the middle, tap it on the outside, keeping the reformer stable. And we have five, I'm just doing eight on each side, four, 
three, two, last one, and put place it back on the reformer. And when you're ready, if you don't need to take a break, let's lift the left, tap it in, tap it out, tap it in and out. Keeping everything else super strong. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Bringing the feet back on top and lowering the knees. I'm going to take a quick stretch. So I sit back on my heels and I'm putting my palms on the box and I'm actually going to open my knees press and lower my forehead just a moment just taking a small stretch and then keeping the arms straight lifting the chest opening up and back down and one more time opening my chest up okay last exercise of this series so almost the same thing we did in the beginning i'm going to press out in the plank but this time i'm going to bring my right leg to my chest and as i bend one knee i'm going to extend the other so i bend extend bend extend inhale and exhale five more five Four, three, two, one, and place the other leg. Now I'm gonna have my left knee bent in, and same thing ten times. Bend, extend. Exhaling as you bring the knee that's on the reformer closer. I'm going to have my right foot on the reformer. I'm going to open and close. Open and close. Opening, controlling with the inner thigh. Whew. Staying high on my shoulders, don't cave. Keep the belly tight. Let's go for five. Four and three, two, one. And now I'm going to be using my core a lot more in this exercise because I'm going down on my back. My shoulders are on the reformer and my head is in my hands. I'm going to have my feet together and I'm going to extend my feet point inhale bend extend inhale bend extend and bend extend bend let's go for five and four 
Last three. Make sure there's no tension in the neck. Two. One. Now small challenge. Opening. Closing for four. Three. Try to stay equal. Two. And one. And you can drop the feet. And just make yourself switch to the other side. So I'm sorry, I'll be facing my back to the camera. I'm actually going to put the former a little bit away from the wall. I'm going to sit. And first exercise, just put my ankle in the strap. I'm laying on my shoulders, my, my elbows, and I'm making sure that I'm not caving in between my shoulders. I'm really elevated. And I have my left foot that's going to be on the reformer. I'm really close to my springs. I'm going to just open the foot, close, open the leg, and close. So it's fairly easy. We're using the, resisting, the resistance of the strap to open and close. And we're using our inner thighs for this. And as they say, the inner thighs are the gate to the core. They're all related. Very good for pelvic health also. Really challenging. Let's go for five. And four. And three. Two. And one. Keeping the strap, let's go for two last exercises. I'm going to lay down, but my shoulders are on the reformer. I'm holding my hand, my neck is not bending, I'm just resting my head. And now my two heels together, I'm gonna extend. The reformer moves a lot less now. I'm using my core and bend. Exhale, extend. The heels together, toes apart. And five more, five, and four, three, keep breathing, two, one, mini challenge, just open for six, five, four, really engaging the abs, three, try to imprint, two, forgot to mention them, and one, and grab your knees, you can let your head go for a second, and back up, and uh, we can just do a quick um, tie stretch, so I like to place my tie, my foot next to the shoulder rest, my hands down, one hand on the reformer, one hand on the base, and just opening. And you can even put your hand down on the metal rail and just try and split it down. And holding, really breathing. Exhaling as you go deeper and closing in. So foot next to the shoulder rest, one hand down, one hand on the metal, and really stretching, opening. You can have your hand on the metal rail if you can go along. We can't all go at the same, uh, we can't all stretch the same, but try to do what feels good to you. Inhale, close a bit, and exhale as you go lower in your stretch. And coming back. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like the video, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or any questions, feel, please feel free to add your comment. And I'll do my best to try and improve. And if there's any content that you want me to put, again, um, I'll do my best. I just want to provide the form of videos that feel good. And um, so don't be afraid to let me know. Thank you and have a nice day.